Mr. Hanneman, you are the senior advisor for the company KITS, and you can tell me what you've been doing for the environment, because I know KITS is really on the forefront concerning this topic. Thank you. Yeah, we really have. Uh, well before the Clean Air Act was enacted in the United States, KITS began research in our Japanese uh, uh, facility uh, to study the parameters that would control environmental uh, emissions, uh, fugitive emissions. It began in about 1992. We did a tremendous amount of uh, uh, experimentation, uh, changing uh, some of the tolerances and finishes in our equipment to achieve the results that we have today, which today it's a 50 part per million maximum emission level, which is about 10 times below the United States federal mandated level of 500 parts per million. Why do you think other companies um, have not been able to catch up with you yet? Well, I don't think that's totally uh, accurate. I think a lot of companies have. There are some very, very good valve manufacturers out there that have achieved, uh, a, a, you know, a, a acceptable emission levels. We happen to think that we have led that uh, uh, effort and, and our performance in emissions because we have put the time and the work in to, to study it. Uh, but again, that's, that really is a good question because there are some claims out there that they have low emission valves, but I, I'm, I think they're just claims. I don't think they can be backed up. Speaking about the technology side of the valves, how exactly is the valve put together to make it environmentally friendly? <laughs> well, you know, you, as you can see, we have a, a valve here that's it's a gate valve and the stem it rises and comes through the packing the packing seals anything that's going to the atmosphere and so if a manufacturer in our case if we design a valve properly with a proper fit the proper tolerances and then good packing it works if we are careless in manufacture we don't have an absolutely straight stem we don't have correct surface finishes we don't have correct tolerances uh, good packing no matter how good it is is not going to seal so that's I mean it, it's really in the design and the manufacture the consistent control of the manufacturer thank you so much you. for your time and um, yeah we look forward to the future with kids thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> I appreciate it